it's Karen Berniston and I'm here with an assembly video for the new cat and dog die set and then I'm also going to show how the new tiny accessories one fits so nicely on all of the little animal die sets. Now you can check out all of my designs at KarenBerniston.com. So let me explain first what this means. We've added this little seal to the first thousand packages of the cat and dog die. We really wanted to do something as a company to help with the hurricane relief. It's been a really, really tough year for hurricanes in the United States. So what we will do is donate all of the proceeds from the first thousand dies sold to hurricane relief. So that means the manufacturer's portion of your purchase will all be donated to hurricane relief. But first, I gotta convince you that you need this die, so let me show you how easy it is to assemble. There are nine dies in the set. I've placed them here on a magnet sheet so you can see them. One thing that's nice about these little animal dies is they're small, they're only about an inch and a half tall, but that just means that you can just go to your scrap bin and just find the various colors that you'll need for your cat and your dog. It's nice that you have all those individual dies for the different colors because you can quickly just cut everything that you need in one pass and any of the die cutting machines will cut these dies. The first thing I'm gonna do is use the built-in stencil feature of the die to actually add the faces to the animals. So I'm just gonna use a fine tip black pen for that. And I'm just gonna go in there using that stencil feature and add the eyes and the nose and the mouth on the cat. And then I'm gonna to switch to a white gel pen and then stencil in the centers of the ears. And then I usually like to add a little bit of white, depending on the cat, I might wanna add a little bit of white maybe to the tail and to the ends of the paws. So that's completely up to you. Now the cat looks great just as it is, but you do have the option to add the little belly piece. So that's been die cut here out of white cardstock and all I'm gonna do is weave that then through the cat so it goes behind those front legs and then we woven into place, it'll just kind of secure itself in there. Great idea just to add a spot of glue to make sure that it's permanent. The die set includes a little collar die and that will fit both the cat and the dog. So I'll use it here on the cat. I usually just kind of line it up with the little cut line that makes the cat's chin. And then since I just traced around the nose rather than coloring it in black, I actually have room to add a little pink to his nose. So I'll do that with a marker and then completely optional, but I'm gonna just draw on a couple whiskers with my fine black pen. Assembly of the dog is basically identical to the cat. It starts with the stencil feature in the die and I'll use that to add his nose and his eyes and his mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and color in his nose completely black on the dog. And then also optional, but you can add a little color to his paws by using the stencil feature on the bottom. Once again, the belly piece gets woven into the dog by going behind his front legs and then securing with a little dot of glue. You can use the collar on the dog if you prefer, but there is also a bandana in the set. And there is a die that will cut two little hearts, two identical small hearts, and those hearts are sized to fit both on the bandana and on the food bowl, and I'm sure you can find other uses for them as well. Speaking of the food bowl, it does have a slit in it that makes it really easy to add the food. You can add the bone that comes in the set if you're using the dog, or you can add the bone fish that comes in the set if you're doing the cat. And in both those cases, you can just add a little dot of glue and secure those to the back of the bowl at whatever you know jaunty angle you want. And obviously that bone and that bone fish are gonna work great on their own as well. So that's the assembly of the cat and dog die. Now, if you want to make your animals even cuter, you can get the new Tiny Accessories 1 die set. It is sized to fit any of the animal dies, not just the cat and the dog. You can see all the different fun outfits on here, including that set of four different types of glasses. It cuts them all at once. I like to put tape on the back of my cardstock before cutting them, and then that way they're just stickers. And you can see how cute they look. We'll put one on each one of our little cat and dog here so you can see. We'll put the regular glasses on the cat and we'll put the, I like to say the Harry Potter glasses on the dog. So the Tiny Accessories one is just a cute little way to add more personality to the animal die sets. You've got the woodland animals, the winter animals, and the cat and dog, and you can see them all kind of dressed up in those accessories on this card. I mean, a bear pirate, a fox in a top hat, need I say more? 
The animal dies are small so that they'll fit nicely on all of the pop-ups, including the new tag book, and this is a great project made by Fran Sabad using the dog on the new tag book die set. And here's another tag book, this one by Kelly Booth, and I like her black and white styling of the dog, and notice that she added little googly eyes to him. This card by Helen Cryer cracks me up. You say crazy cat lady like it's a bad thing, and then she's got all the cats at the bottom, and she's dressed them up with those tiny accessories. So these are two of the five new dies in the November mini release, and you can see them all on the website. If you click on the website link, you'll go to KarenBurniston.com, where you can find out information about purchasing these dies, as well as links to all my other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.